a street vendor couple was attacked in the East Bay. And it was all caught on camera. I'll show you that, plus more news coming up on Sinkton. Hey everyone, there was another street vendor attack. This one happened in Oakland on January 26. The victims, Flor Cabrera and Humberto Villa, say they were selling food on International Boulevard when a woman, they say, had a knife, came up and started attacking them unprovoked. Fue con una navaja la que traía en la mano y nos empezó a decir cosas en inglés. Que la verdad, hasta ahora me voy enterando qué es porque yo no entiendo inglés. In the video, you can hear the woman yelling threats at the couple. I'm gonna kill you. The couple, though, says this is not the first time. Say the same woman attacked them last September. So agredir con primero con piedras a, a una persona que estaba haciendo tortillas, le empezó a dar sus piedrazos y de ahí se fue como todos estábamos en línea, empezó como uno por uno y después ya tiró toda la, la pues todo lo que llevábamos. Después agarró una botella y la quebró y con ese nos estaba amenazando. The woman ran away and hasn't been caught. A street vendor activist from LA says he's hosting a community event this Friday to help them out. Los vendedores ambulantes nunca ganan dinero cuando no están trabajando, entonces es muy importante de que vengan y apoyen uh, no solamente a Humberto, pero a los cocineros también de que no están solos. According to Enamorado, the event is taking place at the site where the attack happened. This is the address. It starts at 5 p.m. In other local news, the city of San Francisco just made a big move to help fight drug use on its streets. Supervisors unanimously voted on Tuesday to repeal a 2020 ordinance that prohibited San Francisco from opening overdose prevention sites unless California gave permission to do so. Well, that's no longer the case. Nonprofits can now open overdose prevention sites around the city so long as they do it with private funding. SF is reportedly waiting to get approval from the federal government, though, on whether public funds can be used for these programs. Okay, shifting gears, if you're looking for your next vacation spot, look no further than the North Bay. The travel website TripAdvisor just put out a list of the top 15 trending destinations to visit in the country this year. And the city of Sonoma made the cut. It came in pretty high, too, on the list at number four. Some of the reasons it makes such a great travel destination, according to the ranking, are its activities like wine, cheese, and olive tastings, its renowned restaurants, and its scenic redwood forest trails. The only other California city on the list, by the way, is Paso Robles. They're at number 15. Juneau, Alaska, Page, Arizona, and Salem, Massachusetts are in the top three spots, respectively. What are your thoughts on the ranking? Let me know in the comments. All right, everyone, that's all I've got for you today. Thanks for watching. Bye.